Hey y'all, Jackie Neiman Jones here and I'm starting some painting classes back up again, online and in person. These paintings in front of me are uh, the four first ones we're going to be doing in February and March. This little video is just kind of a test, but it's also a way for those of you, especially online, to see what kind of materials that you're going to need for the class. So let me get started with that part. Uh, we're going to start here with the very, this is all very basic stuff. As we go on, we'll add more things, but, um, and I'm going to do a much more professional video here, hopefully later this week or next week for sure. So you need a plate for your paint. Uh, in this case, it's a paper plate. Yeah, uh, we're using just acrylic pens in these painting classes. So, uh, you know, a regular plate or or anything like that will do. Uh, paper towels or a washcloth, something that you can use for wiping up your spills. A uh, little container for your water. I always use things that are recycled. And... Uh, Tape is good. I like the blue tape because it doesn't stick so bad, but it leaves a really clean line and uh, comes off easily. The paints I use are all acrylic. These are just examples of a couple different brands, and I'm going to give you links with this video so you can see where you can get some of these uh I usually use these in my classes. There's a lot of colors out there. These are three different sizes that this particular uh, brand makes. Apple Barrel. I get this one at Walmart. It's probably available at Craft Warehouse or pretty much any of those uh, art supply stores. Amsterdam, this is a nice one. This is just a little basic, basic set with the um, primary colors and black and white. And as we go through classes, well, actually, I'm making another video that's going to be uh, professionally done that teaches you how to do things like mixing your basic colors to get a wider range of colors. But all of these come in so many colors if you don't want to mix your own paint brushes this set here you can see is very well used i have been teaching classes for over seven years and some of my brushes are actually original from years ago that students have used in my classes and they're not always well treated, but I always clean them and take care of them. But uh, just to give you an example of how well they do hold up. That's a nice little set. I like that. You get a variety of sizes, and uh, but then you'll need a couple of bigger brushes like these two. Uh, what is that? Three quarter inch, and then uh, I think that the big one's over one inch, but... Again, more information later with the better video. Um, you're going to need canvas. I generally use the uh, 16 by 20 canvas. That's what all of these are. You can get them in a canvas, wrapped canvas. You can get them in a flat panel like this one. These are different sizes. That's 9 by 12. And that's uh, what, 11 by 14, I believe. So if you don't want to paint from uh, the at-home classes online with the larger canvas, you can always get smaller ones. These are the paintings that I'm going to be doing. This one, the heart, will be February 13th. More information to come here. The lightning on the ocean is February 27th. 
I love this one. I just love the colors. This one will be March 13th. And this one, March 27th, both in person and online live. And for those who get the online class, it will also be downloadable so that if you can attend the class at that time, or you want to put more time into your painting afterwards, then you will certainly be able to do that. Well, I'm going to keep this short as possible and uh, more information to come. Hope you can join me. Thank you.